be shipping out some fish and some live worms. So I'll show you guys how I pack these. Your Ziploc bags. I usually uh, double bag them. Oh man, I hate the smell of this. Get my spoon. I usually like to scoop the top parts because that's where uh, most of the worms are. Hold this since it stinks. All right, I'll just pull down the top, slide it down the bag. have it. How oh, I ship micro worms. Now I'll throw this in the box. Put these aside. Now I'm going to bag some fishes. Alright now I've caught all the fish that I'm going to ship and I'm using the water from their very own fish tank. that much these bags they have the rounded bottoms and that's good because the square the, the square corners square bottoms they sometimes they fold and uh squeeze the fish so just something to keep in mind all right so now that i have my bag of water i'll catch the fish then i'll dump the fish in all right See that? No. Oh shoot, his bag is leaking. Oh my gosh, what a bad bag. Woo! That was scary. Every single one of these bags are not good. If you guys buy bags, do not buy these bags. I bought these off of Amazon. These are not good. The seal down here is very bad. It will not hold. Yep. Doesn't hold. What a piece of Alright. Right there, trash. Get our fish again.
Well, fortunately, I had to uh, seal these bags by myself. These bags are not good at all. They're poorly sealed. I guess their sealer was on a low level or something. They're not sealed good. Alright, y'all will just make a knot, knot it up, I'll double bag them. So what I do, I'll grab a bag, get a lighter, and I'll just seal this by myself, like, seal this myself. Since their seal is bad, so I'll just seal it myself. So make sure all the air in here is out first, so it doesn't pop the bag. <clears throat> I use a chopstick, get rid of all the air, let's breathe all the air out. Right. I'll probably triple bag this, since these bags are super trash. Double bag, I'm gonna triple bag. You guys can use rubber bands too, but uh, I'll use it just like a tie them. Just like that. Cut off the tip. And there you go. There you have it. Perfectly nice tag fish. Now it's ready for shipping. Then I'll put 
put these into another bag just to be more secure. So this, just so they won't bounce around and move and all that. So they'll all be more secure. All right, and now I'll put them in one of these. These are uh, boba wrap envelope looking things. They are in there. And I'll just do this. Fold it in half. Do not use blade. Do not use blade. Just tear it open. Paper. I'll throw these in here in the middle. Make sure they're all snug. Then I'll just fold the newspaper over. Some of uh, these in there. And that's it. So this box is lined with styrofoam just to, uh, you know, keep out the um, heat and all that. And just to protect it a little bit. And that's it. And uh, I usually like to uh, write live fish with arrows uh, pointing up because if you don't write it, they won't know that it's fish in there. So they'll just like handle it pretty rough and they'll just like throw it. But if you write, write it like this, then they'll actually take extra, extra like um, care of it. But yep, put my shipping label and then that's it.